Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel tonight. We're going to do a colouring chat in Fancy Adult Colouring Book by Ava Brown. You might have seen that I've put a flip through this up before I've done this. So if you like the first picture, which is this one, just cover one. And I'm not going to try and cover it in my own way. I'm not going to copy it. And we're just going to, sorry, but you're going to colour this one and have a, a little chat and see how everything's going. Because, you know, I like this. I'm going to zoom in. That's one thing, I film on a DSLR so I can zoom in and out very easily, which is really nice. If I was doing it on my phone, I would not be able to change the angle at all. So I'm using the Ohuhu markers and this is 151 Skin White. I will probably go over it with pencils and use glitter gel as well. So we'll just start with the, the base. Now, how are we all? Oh, I can't believe we're in June. It's unbelievable. It's going so fast this year. How are you all? Have you all had your jabs yet? Are you having your jabs? If not, why not? I'm not going to judge you. I think it's a stand to everybody's um, decision to, to have or not have the jab, depending on what they feel. So, I, I you know, if you don't want it, that's fine. If, you, if you're not sure, I totally understand. So, yeah. um, that's her ear. She's a bit of an elf. There we go, there we go. Um, yeah, so I've had my second one. I had it a while back and I'm fine now. I feel fine. Um, the weather here in South Wales, where I live, is absolutely beautiful. It's warm, it's sunny. It was a bit cloudy this evening, which brought the temperature back down, which was nice because I'm not... I'm not big at doing the, the heat at all. I'm not. I just don't like heat. And I just feel very, very uncomfortable. I mean, I know I'm, I'm overweight and I sweat, so obviously there's that. But I also come out in a rash in the heat if I'm not careful. It itches. I get really red, raised, blistery spots on my hands and arms. I don't get it anywhere else. Everywhere else just goes red and then back to white or slightly tanned. I've got a bit of tan at the moment, not much. Um, but I have got a bit of colour. I can see that from where the top of my T-shirt ends. <laughs> um, but I don't... I don't do very well in the heat. I'm not going to lie. Um, but today was beautiful. I went out in the morning, put the washing out on the line. Sat outside for a bit with a cup of tea. Took me colouring outside for a bit, I did that, finished off one of my pages in Worlds of Wonder today, which I've been trying to finish for the last month or so. <laughs> actually managed to finish it. I've got another one in there that I want to finish before the end of the month. So I actually, I might have quite a lot of pages at the end of this month, just because I'm working on my whips rather than starting a lot of new pages. I mean, I will be starting some new pages. Obviously, this is a new one. Um, but I'm trying to get through some of the whips so that they're... It's not nearly a foot high under my desk. I haven't got that many. Um, but there are some that have been around for quite a while. So I really want to get rid of them. Uh, I'd love to get them all off of there. was a good few off this month. So this month really is whip whipping month. I'm whipping the whip. But I do love it. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so... I, I mean, I'm co I am colouring new stuff because I'm colouring patterns. Because I do like to colour patterns when I'm downstairs watching TV. Because if Jennifer scribbles on it, it's not the end of the world. But if I was doing something like this, or like this, but using pencils, and I'd done like putting five or six hours on it, because sometimes I do, and then Jennifer scribbled on it, I'd be gutted with her. But with a pattern that's only taken ten minutes, I can always work with what she's done. So, yeah, love it. So, but yeah, so I did manage to finish that. She did want to scribble on the cover of Worlds of Wonder, but I made her use her own her, her Spider-Man colouring book that she's got. She's big into superheroes at the moment. And it seems to be Marvel, because there's a lot of Marvel stuff on YouTube. So I prefer DC, but that's just me. 
although she did find this channel this Brit this ain't British channel of these kids and I'm assuming one of their dads parody in the Marvel universe and <laughs> they are very funny they even got like, like um, Marvel versus Gremlins and things like that which is so funny <laughs> But, uh, but it's quite late. Well, it's not late, late. It's about, it's getting on for half past ten, I guess, at night. It's really the only time I can colour um, and film. I, I mean, obviously I colour during the day outside and Jennifer comes and colours with me or she plays water pistols and I'll down tools and we'll play for a while or she'll just say, oh, I want to play with Daddy football. And, and I, I, I can sit and colour then. Um, and that's really nice. I've still got to do my book reading wrap up i've still got to draw my jack the ripper contest winner i haven't done that yet i'll try and do that tomorrow film myself for that and do my reading wrap up tomorrow as well no book haul for reading this month because i haven't really bought anything but that's okay a lot of my money i'm going to get a f i might do one at the end of june so i'm going to get a few books at the end of june Paul's got me two for my birthday and I'm getting this new Marilyn one which will get its own feature on the channel where I do an unboxing and flip through of it. I can't wait for that. There we are. But yeah, so we just... I've just been enjoying the weather today. It's unusual for me to in enjoy it so much, but I did. And... We had a very restful day. Um, Jennifer didn't get up to about half eight, which is really, really late for her. So she got. So that's when I got up. I got up with her, which is nice because normally I'm up at run up at six, seven with her, and I get up at like six o'clock on a weekday for work. But yeah, so getting up a little bit later was really nice. So yeah, it was really, really nice to get up that little bit later and, you know, Paul cooked us breakfast. He always has a lovely breakfast. He tends to do um, breakfast on Saturday and Sunday and it's usually bacon and eggs so or bacon sandwiches. Today we had, uh, what do we have? So we had toast with fried eggs and some uh, bacon and it was very yummy. We had it outside in the sunshine because it was really nice and warm. And Jennifer had her cereal. I'm not worried about going over this because I'm going to put glitter on there. So it doesn't matter if I go over these bits a bit so that's good. It was just, yeah, it was a really lovely, a sunny day. Um, and then uh, the weather was so hot that in the afternoon, yes, to be fair, I did get a bit of a headache. I am not going to lie. Um, and I'm just going to see what they've done on the cover. really really nice day in the afternoon I did have a bit of a headache so I did go to to sleep um yeah took a headache pill and and went because uh, my head was behind in probably because from being out in the heat all day um 143 and it was just really nice to sit out there and enjoy the the sunshine which is something I don't do very often because I like I said I get come out in a rash but I find as long as I dose myself up with plenty of sun cream I tend to be all right so yeah I'm just having a look at the pens because I haven't pulled them out because you know me I do not plan anything I just get on and do 
when I colour something I just colour it because mm, so. that's just how I like to colour To myself, I'm not really tutting, I'm thinking. So, yeah, every now and again, I'm gonna go have a quick look to see what's what. So, some things are hair, or so they've done it part hair, part band on her head. So, I'll do the same just because I'm gonna give her. Which is quite a dark brown, but that's fine. And that'll be that. And then I'm going to get a number two, which is a red. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. They call it old red. Some of these colours I don't think I've ever used before, so. So I'm just going to colour it there like that. So this is a bit different because they've done it in different colours, which is allowed. Of course, it's my picture. I'll colour it how I flip in well, please. <laughs> so I'm going to go over all that brown as well. So it'll make it nice and dark. But where it was white, it'll be that lovely red. So yeah, I'll probably make this about half an hour and then um, call it a night. I've got some flip throughs I want to film and I'm trying to re-swatch everything and kind of sort out my, what's it called? Um, My PDFs is what I'm trying to say here. Like I said, I'm not really worrying about how much I'm colouring with this brown. Because I'm going to go over it with the red. This is also hair by the look of it. down to here but then there's lines behind there and they've done that as greenery that's fine sometimes you need to have a reference point on some and then if, if there isn't a reference point you just do what you want so this is going to be hair here as well oh that that bit's part of her dress that's fine I don't know what color I used on that I think it was 14 vermilion wasn't it yeah I'll finish that in a bit. Sometimes, yeah, you just don't realise what colour something is because, or what something is because of the way that of the art. But that's part of the fun. You can then decide to do it how you see, see fit. So yesterday, well, Saturday we went out because you're seeing this. No, Friday. You're seeing this on Sunday, so I'm filming it Saturday night. So on Friday, which was yesterday for me, we went out for Friday Fish and Chips at our local pub. Um, it was also National Fish and Chip Day. Fish and Chips is big in the UK. I uh, love good fish and chips. Um, and it's not a huge portion, but the chips are beautiful. The, uh, the, the fish is, is fried in beer, beer batter, so it's batter made with beer. Oh, it's just so tasty. I love it. I might even put a darker brown over the top. Just to get some more brown in. That way I can just... But yeah, we, it was a lovely meal. We've got 
for it again next Friday, I expect, because it's just so nice. It's not over expensive. And it's nice. We actually sat indoors. Usually we sit outside, but there wasn't any outside space, and that's fine because it was so hot. So we sat inside the pub um, near one of the doors in comfy armchairs. It was just absolutely stunning. And yeah, we, we just sat there, had a breeze going over us. And it, sometimes it's nice to sit indoors as long as it's not hot. So because they'd had their um, their doors open and there was a bit of a breeze, it was quite pleasant. Now, I don't know if we'll go up for a drink tomorrow because Paul doesn't really like to drink on a Sunday because it's the day before work, even though we're, we're working from home. But my dad sometimes comes up on a Sunday. Um, it's nice to go out for a drink if we can get a, a place to sit. It's nice to be outside with Jennifer because she can run around and play because they've got plenty of grass up there and space for her to run. And, and then we can go up the canal for a quick walk as well. So, yeah, it's really nice actually. We're very lucky where we live that we got such beautiful scenery and a very nice places to walk if we want to go walking there is a lot of really really nice stuff here so whoops I just knocked the camera I do apologize so, yeah it is nice um, I've got a lot to I've got, I've got a ton of records to sort out that a friend of mine gave me They're from her late husband's collection and she's downsizing and moving away and some nice stuff in there there's a copy of the soundtrack for phantom of the opera aspects of love there's some old film soundtracks there's some glenn miller there is what was the other one um 91 i want i think it's in this one isn't it yeah there it is um uh, my favourite is the um, London recording of Barnum with Michael Crawford playing at Barnum. Now I have a copy of that on DVD because it was released. But I love, and I love it, I haven't listened to it yet, I'm dying to get it out and listen to it because I know that John would have looked after them. And they would be, they're going to be amazing. There we go. Probably put some pencil over her hair as well. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. What was the red I used? It was 14 on the nails. The million. And this should be part of her dress. I've gone a bit mad on it. It's her bzams. Yeah, that's better. You can't see what I've done, but there you go. <laughs> Oh, you know what it's like sometimes when you, you, you colour in and it's, you're all a bit wishy. Oh, one for four. One for four. You ever somewhere? One for four. Hmm. I am a bit tired, I'm not going to lie. This is actually just cream, it's just a cream base. Minute. 
I always miss things like eyebrows. I don't put a lot of makeup on my gills. I might put some blusher on if when I go over it in pencil because I think that looks nice but with the pens it's going to look really bright and well you know this will probably have some sparkly glitter stuff on it at some point. I do like these um, markers, they are my favourite at the moment, I'm using them a lot and I'm happy to pay out for them again because obviously they're not, they're not going to be, um, you can't get them open stock unfortunately, you might be able to in America but you can't in the UK, I don't know. I've not seen them anyway because otherwise I'd be like, yay, I'm on that band. I'm on that right, I'm on that one. And then we'll do this bit here. <laughs> A lighter yellow in there. I just think this is beautiful. I'll start doing the background in a minute just because uh, it's going to take a long time and I want to do a bit of it. Maybe not all of it, but definitely a bit of it. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Right, because we're on 21 minutes. Wow, this is so much fun. I'm really, really enjoying this. Do our own bands next before we start the sky and the big sun thing on our arms. <laughs> so next week is back to normal. This week was a bank holiday, um, but next week it's all back to the old normality, sadly. Um, but yeah, back to normal full week still not the end of the world and I only work for one and a half hours a day it's not like I work full time I can't really moan really it's a very busy I do work the busy part of the day though which is first thing in the morning that's when it's busiest but even that's all right it's not that bad We just got to. I need to make money so I can buy colouring books and supplies. So, you know. It's not all about that, is it? Of course it is. I think when you have a hobby like colouring, it can be expensive if you want it to be. It doesn't have to be. For instance, you could just buy the cheap pencils and just colour and chat. Um, I like to have different things to colour. I've got far too many colouring books and that's why I am having to cut back on buying them. Um, I am buying myself an Ava Brown and a Jade Summer every month. Luckily I'm on the launch team for Ava Brown so I can get the books and I get to review them which is very nice. Got a few I really want to colour in at the moment as well, so I want to. Uh, <laughs> now I probably put some glitter on this lot. I'm just going to colour over this a minute. Um, this lot will have some sparkly stuff on it when I finished, as will the stars be. Uh, but yeah, I mean we're on 24 minutes and I've really enjoyed this page so far, it's really nice. I, mean, I don't want to make the videos too long but I want them to be long enough that you can sit and have a cup of tea and or a cup of coffee if that's your bag, I'm not adverse. I don't drink coffee myself, I don't like it but that doesn't mean to say you shouldn't. Um, I like the smell of it, I love the smell of coffee, just don't like drinking it. Just one of those things. We're, we're all different, and it'd be very boring if we were all the same. So 
trying to decide what blue to go with for the uh, oh. Thirty-two. I need next. There it is. So, I'm just going to go over that bit. again just to blend it in a bit Color. Now I'm actually thinking of going for blue violet which is a really purple colour for the background. I just think that would be nice. A bit different. Number 73. 73. It's uh, this colour here. It looks very blue on camera but it's actually purple. Let's so have a quick, quick drink. I've got a big tub of water, carafe of water here. water bottle. I'm just uh, <clears throat> having a good slug of uh, water because I'm mm, a bit thirsty. So we're going to use this colour. As you see, oh, this is gorgeous, this colour. I'm going to do the gems with probably glitter pens. So I'm just going to go around the edge. I won't go over them anything too much here because it will be, it's quite a dark colour. And I'll probably go over the strings that they're holding on as well. So it looks very dark blue, doesn't it? But it's actually more purple. It's really nice. They are on strings. Um, and I'll probably go over them either with a glitter pen or with the black jelly roll glaze. I haven't decided yet. You'll find that out later. I love this picture. I think this picture is so cute. So I've been watching all your um, wrap up and hauls. If I don't comment, it's because I usually watch them on my TV, not on my phone or my laptop. So I have to literally then go grab my phone and comment on it. But I will try and put a comment on it as I do it. Because I've usually got my phone by me. Um, if I don't, I apologise, but I am watching my way through them all. Um, I've had a few good few sales on eBay this week. We posted four this morning, and I've already got another four to go off on Monday. It's crazy. How's happening? I'm not even listing at the moment. I've got some items ready to be listed, and I'll probably do them tomorrow when I'm doing my accounts. And then I got to get some stuff photographed. It's bizarre. It really is. I, I mean, everybody's saying they're not getting sales, and I mean, I don't sell hugely expensive stuff, so maybe that's why I'm getting a lot of sales. And you know, I'm making money. I'm not losing any money, so I'm not going to worry about it. I do have more expensive stuff on there, like the cameras are more expensive generally. Not all of them, but most of them. And, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's quite weird people complaining they're not getting any sales, it's dead. These are probably people that make, you know, have 30 or 40 sales a weekend, on a weekend on its own. And they're like not getting anything, or they're getting one or two. Now, I sometimes sell maybe two or three items, four items a week, and if I'm listing a bit more. But I've had eight sales in the last few days, so for me that's quite good, and I'm happy with that. And I'm going to try and get some stuff listed, um, because it does like activity on your account. Which of course, if I send an offer and somebody accepts, that's activity, so I get promoted a bit more. So I will try and get some listings up this week. I have got some cameras to test, so I might try and do that tomorrow night, because obviously I've done my, uh, I've got some videos to go off. I do have to film my reading wrap up though, but that generally won't take too long once I've got all my notes. I haven't read as much this month as last. Okay. So that's going to be as long 
a video as normal and I've got to film my Jack the Ripper giveaway which I'll try and do tomorrow as well. Right, it stopped. I don't know where I was when it stopped but I don't think it stopped for long because it was still on the screen. Um, I forgot we were nearly at 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm on reading challenge. I'm on 101 books out of 150. My original um, goal was 75 um, but I've read a lot more this year already and I so I kept basically up to 150 and I can see me possibly up, up in it again. I mean a lot of what I'm reading are really short cosy mysteries and they don't take very long to read. They're easy to, to read. I can um, read them on my phone while Jennifer's sitting on my lap because it's very hard to hold a book or a, a full-size Kindle when you've got a child sitting on you wriggling, watching TV and singing along. But, you know, I, I, I can read it in the garden if it's darker and I can read at night. Um, again, I haven't read as much. I had a huge stack of physical books that I wanted to read in May and I only read two of them, but uh, that's the way it goes. There'll be more of that in the old... Uh, wrap up which will be up soon but I've done been doing a lot of colouring and that's fine I you know I'll have two books for my birthday and I know that I, they won't last very long so. they're for my permanent collection I, I only buy cheap books if they're to be read and discarded um, like I bought three for five pounds in the works one of them will be going in the permanent collection because it's um, Jodie Taylor's Time Police uh, novel doing time for the first one so that will be going in my permanent collection and then we'll be you know the other two will probably donate to the Tesco's have got their library again so uh, they got their cheap bookshelf which is nice it's nice to see things like that coming back and it's all for charity it's 50p a book so I don't mind paying that I don't mind paying uh, a fiver for three books from the works really cheap usually the books are about a fiver if not more so you know when I'm down there you know if I've got money I'll think oh I'll pick up another five Another three books for a fiver. I'm usually in the works checking out the colouring books and the art supplies. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I'm so itchy. My face is itchy a bit as well. It's me catching the sun. And yes, I did have Factor Fix 50 on my face as well. I'm just very fair skinned. And Jennifer this week had an allergic reaction to the the sun cream. Um, funny thing is it's the same sun cream we used last year and the year before but this year she came out in a great big rash and was scratching and she's got a big scratch on her face because I caught my nail on her and where she'd been scratching so hard it pulled the skin off and it was oh it was horrible. Um, so she's got we've got some Pyroton now in case uh, she has any other reactions to anything. And that cleared it up nicely and her skin's back to normal now. But the problem is every time she sees me put lotion on she wants it on as well and she can't have it. So tomorrow I'm going to buy her her very own, very expensive one. Um, my skin's really sensitive but I, I'm not allergic to that. If I was allergic to anything I'd say I'm very wary on which shampoos and shower gels I use because I, sometimes I, I'll use something and it will make my skin itch if I use a mint name. Um, so I tend to stick to the same kinds of shampoos and the same shower gel and bath products and the only thing I can put in my bath is Raylox, the only thing that doesn't make my skin itch. So I always use Redox shower gel and if I'm having a bath I have a Redox bubble bath or I just don't put anything in there at all and just use Kirk's soap. But I very rarely have a bath these days, it's more of a shower. I like to have a bath in the winter when it's cold um, and everybody's in bed or pulls out. Not that he's gone out anywhere lately because of Covid but um, then I can um, have a nice bath and go to bed but I don't get that very often these days so mostly I just have a shower which is just as nice 
especially when it's like a room temperature shower then it feels so cool and it's not it's actually nice and warm it's the right temperature it's like body temperature but it feels it cools you down it feels lovely so I had a bath before coming up here to do this and I've got my hot light on the my, my photo light on which is a daylight lamp and it gets so hot and normally I'm sitting here sweating and I still feel fairly cool I think it's gonna be quite a cool night tonight so I'm gonna finish this uh, sky bit and then uh, that will be it because it's, it's a bit boring watching me color the sky I'm sure it is so so I'm, if anybody wants to do a body colour in any of the books I've got, I'm happy to do it. One of the reasons I don't do a lot of body colours, body, where did that come from, is just that I, I don't want to let anybody down and I am one of those people who's driven by instinct. I can't say at the beginning of the month, these are the books I'm going to colour in because I just don't know. I will colour in what I am drawn to. If I'm not drawn to a book or a picture, I will leave it, which is why I've got books I bought a couple of years ago that I really wanted and I haven't coloured in. But I want to colour in at some point, but I will be drawn to it. You know, it's like they say, if you, if you see something you like, like a necklace and you're drawn to it, you should buy it, unless it's horrendous expensive and you can't afford it. So I did that the other week. It was uh, in Newport and they got this little um, ad hoc market in Friars Walk and I went in and... I saw a necklace hanging on a thing on the jewelry store and I thought, oh, that's really nice. And I was so drawn to it. I bought it. It was only eight quid, but it was really nice. I have worn it, just, and I don't wear jewelry a lot, but I know if I go out somewhere, I will put that on. It's really pretty. You know, if you're drawn to something, you should do it. And, and that's what I, I'm the same with colouring and things like that. If I feel like I want to colour a particular picture, I will colour it. I know the one I want to colour in in Fragile World. There's lots I want to colour, but I'm drawn to one particular picture. I've just got to find the wherewithal to get on and do it. Now I'll just colour around this, but I'll probably put some oops, a glitter pen on it, which will make it shine like it's supposed to be shining. But. Uh, enjoying colouring I must admit I do enjoy my colouring it's like it's a hobby like any other like knitting or crocheting or reading or going to the football playing football and it is so very relaxing and I'm sitting there and I'm falling I could fall asleep which is really good because it is getting on and I'll be going to bed fairly fairly shortly like I said, I'm just doing this background. I mean, you must be bored out of your heads watching this. So, yeah, I got. I must have some cameras tomorrow, so to get them listed. Because I, I like playing with cameras, so it's not a big chore for me to get a camera out and put batteries in it and test it. So that's my job for tomorrow night. After I've um, filmed my reading wrap up and stuff, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have the uh, test those cameras and then I can get them photographed I might not photograph them tomorrow but I'll get them ready I, and I've got two that I can even though I've still got a roll of film in the one but I will see so like two or three shots on it so I know it works so from that that I know it works is enough mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see. So. Yeah. So I've got a couple of cameras to list. I'm selling the odd camera here and there. They will go. They do go. I do like to run a roll of film through if I can. But also, it, it means I've got a lot of work to do when I get my next set of cams. I even found a roll of film the other day in a drawer, and I'm like, what the hell is on this? I've got no flipping idea. Okay. What the heck? 
and that's how I feel sometimes with the photography. I've got so many rolls of film. Some of them have come out of cameras. Some of them, like the Hanamex one, I think it was, there was a roll of film in there and I've just finished it off. There was only a few shots on it. Um, and I do finish them off. <laughs> and then I have, I put rolls in every now and again. I had one camera I was testing and I thought it was this, Sam, this Samsung one. It, was, it wasn't it was put in the film and it was jamming it. I put it in and it was fine. So it must have been the way I was putting it in. So it is working fine because I've run a whole roll through it almost. Obviously the real test is the getting it out. If it rewinds without any issues, I drop the roll of film in my bag, which I've got a bag full of films. Well, it's not full of films. It's not Vivian Mayer style bag of films, though it's heading that way, just because I haven't got time to do any developing at the moment. I have some time off later in the year. I might do some, because I can do it when Jennifer's at nursery. Although I won't do colour film, because it's so hot. I get so hot and sweaty because the water's boiling. Because you have to do it at like 100 degrees. Really hot. Near enough. The, and I like doing it, but it gets very hot if you're doing multiple rolls. Um, that I'll do them when I... When winter hits, I'll probably start doing them. When it starts cooling down after the summer. And I need to buy some new chemicals anyway, because the other lot have gone. Fortunately, my local waste tip takes them, so. It takes chemicals, so I'll pop them there and it's not a problem. Well, it's 40 minutes now, but I've nearly finished the sky. I so I might go over it with a, a dark purple pencil, just to even it out where it's uh, a bit blotchy. But I am getting really tired now. Oh dear. So yeah, sometimes I find I know I've got a roll of film somewhere that's um might have more than one roll and it's in a box. One is a slide film's been hanging around for ages. I've used it, I just haven't sent it off to be developed. Slide film's the only thing I don't develop myself, I send that away. Uh I can't be bothered with that nonsense. I like slide film, but I don't want to the hats of developing it myself. I, you know, I could do black and white very, very easily. I do colour very, very easily. I don't have a problem with that, but... I do have a problem with the... I don't... Yeah, I can't be doing with the E6 stuff. I thought it would be difficult doing colour. Um, and I only started doing, developing my own colour because I was watching YouTube videos on it. And they were saying how easy it was compared to black and white. And I thought, well... Black and white is really easy to develop, so I just thought I'll give it a go and I did and I was happy with what I, results I got. So now I just do all my colour in black and white and then I scan it. I'd love to have a dark room, at least for the black and white, I wouldn't have a colour dark room. Again, that way madness lies, but usually I put them up on... Um, I've got a film Instagram which I very rarely use um, because you've got a the thing with Instagram is you've got to plug your phone in to the computer and then up, put the photos onto the phone and then upload them from there. It's really convoluted. Uh, but I do use, uh, I used to use Flickr, but then they started charging for it again. I think it was taken over by somebody. Um, I do have a, 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 a blog which I don't use very often. I haven't updated it for ages photography wise because I'm not doing proper photography. It's just pictures of Jennifer generally. <laughs> and I've got so much to sort out on that to be honest. And then I got um, something called Blip Photo which I do use occasionally. Just not all the time. and the Lomography site, which is all film only. Obviously it's all scanned, but it's all film only. So, which is good. I like looking at the film pictures. I don't do it enough. 
Yeah, there's not enough t hours in the day to do everything. Tomorrow I'm going to spend most day cleaning the house and tidying up, doing chores I should have done today, but we were too busy relaxing. So it wasn't too hot, but it wasn't cold, so it was just right. It was very hot first thing in the morning, though. I put the washing out at 10 o'clock, and it was absolutely boiling. We went out and had lunch out there, like, 12, and it was cooler. It was a really weird day. I think it's just where the shadows and the shade are, was at the time and, and all that stuff, so. Right, here we are, nearly finished. I just want to... Yes, yes. Hmm. Yeah. I did that way too. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nearly finished. You're probably all bored now. <laughs> but at least it's done out of the way, and we can. Do the rest of the picture later. Whoops! Sorry about that, guys. Some of this will have glitter on it anyway, so it won't matter. Okay. Oh, it's nice colouring in this book. I really like this book. There we go. That is it done for now. Let's see what we've done today. And there she is so far, looking good, looking good. Um, and we'll come in and do some more on the next colouring chat. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>